Hi all. I want to uh, do a video on plow attack angle. That's something that we don't hear about quite a bit. But it has to do with the angle of the cutting blade. This, uh, this blade down here. See that cutting blade is practically straight up and down. So straight up and down would be like a 90 degree angle. You know, like a, you know, a full circle is 360. Half that circle is 180. And half of 180 is 90. So that would be like a 75 degree angle. If you bring that down a little bit, you got 65, you bring it down some more, you got 55. So those are the three main angles that uh, I've seen in most articles. So just 55, 65, 75. There's other angles too, but uh, I think for this video I just want to stick with those three so you can see what I'm talking about. So, I think that one, that's a Meyer Plow, Meyer Lot Pro. It's known for having that, uh, that angle, that 75 degree angle. Some pictures I've seen say 70 degree, but it's basically a steep angle. It's steep, you know, like a steep hill, straight up and down. And then the other main one would be like 55 degree. That would be angled a lot. Okay, so uh, this one here, a steep angle is for pushing snow on hard surfaces, hard paved surfaces. If you were to put that down to 55 degree angle, that's for plowing on gravel surfaces. You don't scrape up as much gravel. And then the one in the middle, the 65 degree, you know, that's kind of thought of best as both worlds. You don't really know what you're going to plow surfaces or uh, gravel so they set it in the middle so I think most plows you can't you can't change the angle so that's why I wanted to do a video on this because if you're looking for a plow you might want to uh, consider this if you live in the city where everything's paved, you might want to go with a steep angle, like this one. If you live out in the boonies where everything's gravel, gravel driveways, gravel roads, you might want to look for a plow that has a, a 65 degree angle. So I think, I think on some of the newer ones, you can adjust the angle. And from what I've seen, uh, there's just a couple more holes from what I've seen there's just a couple more holes in here where they can move these bolts around and that changes the angle they make it out to be a, a minor adjustment but uh, trying to do that in the middle of a snowstorm when it's cold I don't think it would be any fun Maybe if you have a, a heated garage, it wouldn't be so bad, but... On this one, it doesn't look like it, it can be adjusted. I think with the older plows, I don't think they can be adjusted. But I'm guessing there, I haven't really been able to find a lot of good information on it. Okay. Uh, maybe... Maybe if I tighten these up here, these springs, 
it might pull it back some where I might be able to change the angle a little bit but uh, like I said I'm guessing there those springs are mainly for like a bare pitch so the plow trips when you hit something hard okay so we'll go in on the computer I've got some notes and uh, we'll go through my notes and it should make a little bit more sense to you I thought I'd start out here so I could show you this one here. So the the attack angle has to do with this this edge here, the angle of this edge. There's other things to consider too, you know like the shape of the mold board and how much the plow angles back and forth you know, left to right but for now we're just talking about the uh, the angle of the cutting edge okay we'll go inside now Okay, so now we're inside. Just to make sure everybody understands what I mean by a, by an angle. I did a search here for 360 degrees. Uh, I'll click on this guy here. View image. And then here it shows the degrees of the circle. Like here's zero, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees, and so on. All the way over to the other side. Let's see here. If we start here, over here would be 180. So a straight line back and forth would be 180 degrees going straight up and down from this zero here come over this way and then straight up that would be 90 degrees so a full circle would be 360 from zero to here is 180 from zero to a straight line is 180 and then the full circle would be 360 okay okay so here this might make a little more sense see here's here's zero 10 degrees 20 degrees 30 degrees 40 degrees 50 and then 55 degrees that would be the angle of your cutting edge and then this one would be 65 degrees 0 10 20 30 40 50 65 degrees 65 is halfway through and then this one would be 75 0 degrees 10 degrees 20 degrees 30 40 50 60 75 degrees okay so there's the three main angles Okay, so here's a picture with all three of them. So you can see it's only a 10 degree difference, but from here to here, that's quite a bit. Okay, so one of the first videos I did, I didn't use this one because uh, the truck was running and it was kind of loud but uh, if I come over here see there's my cutting edge let me get a let me get a uh, picture 
picture of that okay so then okay so if we take that and bring it back here you can see that's the angle of my cutting edge is even more than this see if I put that up to here here's a picture of my cutting blade if I take that and put it up against here that is almost more steeper than this guy here if I can put that right on there well you see what I'm getting at here that's almost straight up and down Let's see if I make that big slide over here it's almost straight up and down with that but just by looking at this it looks like it's even more than 75 closer to like 80 that might be why my plow cuts up the gravel so bad Okay, so I've got some notes here. Okay, so I've got some notes here. I just scanned it in because uh, I didn't feel like typing it all in. It's kind of the same thing we went over outside. So, plow attack angle. The attack angle changes the cutting ability. It may also affect how the plow throws snow. The curve of the mold board. You know. Some plows can change their attack angle. We talked about that. You move the bolts around by changing the location of the bolts. This is called multi-position attack angle. The main reason you change the attack angle is to adjust the plow to the conditions. Is it fluffy snow? Is it wet heavy snow? Is it pavement? Is it gravel? Yeah. The conditions of the surface you are plowing. Okay, so the three main angles are 55 degrees, roughly like this that's that's a a big angle is what I'm saying by this 65 degrees would be in the middle and then 75 degrees would be the the steepest one now there's other angles too that I've seen but most of the stuff I've bumped into it's been these three so here's uh, a circle is 360 degrees that little circle there means degree 90 degree would be one-fourth like one-fourth of a pie so from what I've seen and I haven't seen a lot I, I haven't been able to find a lot of information on this but the few things I did bump into I looked for a long time. I, I looked around for weeks. Uh, 75 degrees seems to be the most common. It is good for paved surfaces. Good for scraping ice in hard pack. Good for throwing snow. Use it on frozen surfaces so it scrapes up the ice more. And it's known as the most aggressive attack angle. It means it's going to cut 
into the snow. And then the last page here, 65 degrees would be the most versatile. Uh, you can plow paved and gravel surfaces. This will make more sense when, once we get down to this one here. Use this so you don't have to switch back and forth between 75 and 55. So, uh, and then 55 degrees is good for gravel and unpaved surfaces. Good for heavy snow. Good for unfrozen surfaces because it doesn't dig as much into the dirt. Less damage to the grass. It kind of skims along the top. Uh, less damage to grass because of reduced downward force on the cutting edge. Not good for cutting hard pack. Hard packed ice. You know, the 55 degrees kind of skims along the top. 55 degrees creates less stress on the truck because there's not as much force. If your cutting edge is steep, there's a lot of weight pushing against it. Don't use float mode on gravel. Float mode will tear up the, the gravel because it's getting as close as it can to the surface. Put the plow down on the surface, then raise it an inch or so. Okay. And I think I talked about in that in one of the earlier videos. I saw a fella talk about that in some video just a little while ago. And it makes sense. You know, I always used float mode on gravel and wondered why it always tore it up and this is why you should bring it down to the surface then raise it up just a little bit and then your plow stays like an inch or so off the top of the ground okay and that's all i really have about the topic uh, this stuff here uh, there is another angle you know if you search around for information on this stuff uh, there's a side to side angle you know most plows will do 30 degrees back and forth left to right but 35 degrees is better and I'm no expert at this stuff but I just wanted to throw this video out there to start a conversation on this topic I could really only find like one or two videos and one or two uh, uh, forums that talked about it. So let's see here. Okay, so uh, we talked about the circle. Here's the one forum that I found most of the information on it's just a bunch of people putting in their comments I tried to decipher it as much as I could that's how I put together this video here's one video I saw on how to adjust your attack angle and then here's another video that talks about the the attack angle and I think they mainly talk about left and right so those are basically the places I got this information from
does kind of scrape right there. That's a real smooth surface. Got a uh, funky driveway. How it didn't get down to the bottom here. See how that just kind of skips along the top? 